Wrong end. Done her head in. She's 19. Done her head in. Did you see her go back into the house? Was well, she delivering pizzas yeah. already? <laughs> <laughs> not thick, you know. You've got them girls that are dead innocent and they don't know much about boys and stuff. She's had plenty of relationships. She knows what she's doing. Can I just clarify, are you being funny there? <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not being funny. You're not being funny. <laughs> I can't wait to buy all, like, the, you know, the tea towels with... I'm not being funny here, right? you know, mugs and stuff like <laughs> that. Oh, actually, Keep I'm real. getting my doll made and it goes, I'm a selfie son, it girl, not being funny, right? I'm loving it. <laughs> they're doing a doll of you. Yeah. Just one. <laughs> no, and then they're going to burn it. Is it more <laughs> And see if it's up there. Yes, it is. Seven yes, Ziggy and seven. Chanel had an on off relationship. Will they, won't they, who cares, no one? <laughs> Chanel couldn't be here tonight because she wouldn't be in the same room as Charlie, unlike most celebrities who love Charlie. Excuse me, I'm not being funny, but since I've been out. Are you I've not been funny? <laughs> oh, sorry. Can I just. Listen, listen, let's just get some clarification. Are you being funny or not in this bit? Can I say something? Since I've been out, I've been meeting loads of celebrities. Did you know what? Oh my god, my phone's full with like R. Kelly, all of their names wow. in my phone box. R. Kelly. Wow. Wow. R. Kelly. Wow. Yeah. Isn't R. Kelly on charges this week yeah. for pissing on a 14 year old girl? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of that round, Jason's team have one point, Sean's team have two points. Exciting. The next round is called The Poll with a Hole. Each statistic is missing one salient piece of information. It's up to our panellists to fill in the gaps. Sean, James and Jerry, you ought to go first. 13% of viewers would like to see Big Brother impose a ban on what? Cameras. <laughs> and it's all in there. They think they're being filmed and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> and every time they, there's a camera and they look at it, you just squirt some water at it. Like a <laughs> I think it's very unfair, the twins, because most people are on their own, aren't they? And they've got an instant sort of familiar face. Well, the same face. <laughs> <laughs> it seems slightly unfair, that that, that, that they've got that support there. So Because you make, cause you're, you're obviously all a bit mad, aren't you, from, from being in there? Some of them were mad before they went in, I'll tell you. Yeah. Some of no. them were. No. <laughs> With me? No, oh, no, were. I was normal. <laughs> I did get hit on the head of a frying pan before I went in there. Was it a random attack on a moped? <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> Can I just, on behalf of everyone, I don't know who hit you with a pan, but just thank you. <laughs> I'll give you a, a clue. Uh, Shabnam is covered in it. Makeup. Correct. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thirteen percent of viewers would like to impose a ban on makeup in the house. Shabnam wears a lot of makeup. What she doesn't realise is it's what's inside that counts. Her dreadful personality. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Danny, Charlie, 31% of Brits say that Jerry reminds them of what? A kind of Tesco value George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> is the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, 31% of Brits say that Jerry reminds them of George Michael. That's fair enough, he's Greek, you're in a park, it's dark. <laughs> there is, of course, currently a state of emergency in Greece. They're worried Jerry will go back. <laughs> OK, 20% uh, of Brits think Charlie should what? Only communicate by post. <laughs> Tell more Kieran Richardson stories. <laughs> There's not enough of them. Yeah, I agree, baby. I want to know more about the Manchester United number 33. <laughs> <laughs> Is he single? Me. Oh, actually, I'm going on a date. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, all right, damn. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going on a date with? I'm not telling you I'm going on a date. It's a secret. No. You'll probably read about it, like, in two days in the paper, cos in my life, I go to a restaurant and, like, they're there and stuff like that. And I'm... <laughs> No, well, you, you may laugh, you may laugh, but the other day she got a free Big Mac. <laughs> when? Huh? How did you know I was in McDonald's the other day anyway? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's amazing. Just a wild stab in the dark. <laughs> OK, so I'll give you a clue. It's to do with the amount that she speaks. Stitch her lips together. She should stop being funny. She'll get her own show. Correct. Fuck oh. off! <laughs> 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 the answer is 20% of Brits think Charlie should have her own talk show. Yeah! No. Hey. Yeah! hey, think about it. It could be a game show where you get a prize if you get a word in edgeways. 
So at the end of that round, it's four points for Sean, James and Jerry, three points for Jason, Danny and Charlie. <laughs> Join me after the break when we'll be finding out who was the most entertaining housemate ever. <laughs> Welcome back to 8 out of 10 Cats. Our next round is Space Off. We've got six well-known Big Brother contestants here in the studio. We asked the public, which of these housemates would you most want to perform a brain surgery on you? <laughs> Eugene will be a brilliant brain surgeon. I have faith in you. Yeah, he won't be able to fix your brain, but he'll be able to make you tune into Magic yeah. FM. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anyone want brain surgery? I don't get it. Why would anyone want brain surgery? It's more that you need it than you want it. <laughs> Very rare yeah. vanity thing. Yeah. Very rare that anyone gets a cosmetic <laughs> lobotomy. <laughs> Although you may be the first. <laughs> I think you could be significantly more attractive without the frontal lobe. How much lobe. does it cost to get that? How much does it cost? Oh, I'll pay for it. <laughs> I'll tell you who's a real candidate for brain surgery. Let's have a look at him in action. Brian, say as many different words which have the same meaning as female. OK, female. Lady, woman, um, vagina, um, <laughs> vagina person, um, uh, breasts, uh, legs, and, um, tits, um, fanny. <laughs> McFitties, McFitties, wound people who have wounds. <laughs> and they have great big jalongas. Oh, good, good, good. Can I just apologise to any vaginas that were watching <laughs> and were offended by that? Um, I didn't mean any respect to you or your oogity boogities. Um, <laughs> You might be a wound person, you might be watching that thinking it's, it's misogynistic, but, you know, you're probably a McFitty, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I love the wound people. It just sounds like the cheapest Doctor Who baddies ever. <laughs> Which of those do you want doing brain surgery on you? Eugene looks like he might collect brains. <laughs> <laughs> and also the skins of ex-girlfriends. <laughs> He's never had a girlfriend. <laughs> It's going to be Eugene, surely. You've got, you're going Eugene, OK? Sure. Yeah, Eugene. OK, you're Eugene. going Eugene. Eugene. You've got to go Eugene. Eugene. There's no one else. I can tell you that the housemate you would most want to perform brain surgery on you is indeed Eugene. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a state is the NHS in when Eugene is performing brain surgery? Is John Tickle not available? <laughs> <laughs> we asked the public which one of these housemates would make the best pub landlord. Who do you think? Tracy. Pint of beer, have it. Get it. <laughs> pint, of, pint of cider, have it. <laughs> What's the food like? Sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, uh, I could see Billy behind the bar in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these housemates would make the best pub landlord? I think any of them, as long as we get Kinga to bottle up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be a bit of a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> You're going to go with Leah. You're oh, going to go Leah. Yes. Tracy. Oh, I'm the captain here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I think Tracy. <laughs> I can tell you the answer is Leah. Yeah. 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 There are two enormous reasons why I'd go to Leah's pub. Good food, great atmosphere. <laughs> That's right, she's named her tits. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these housemates' diaries you would most like to read? Who do you think got the most votes? I don't think anyone's diary I'd like to read. I'd rather actually lose my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Whose diary would you like to I read? I think Leah's. Leah must I, have I'm like, interested in like the Second World War and stuff, so I think it'd be nice <laughs> to get like a. First World War, first, first. <laughs> Leah's, Leah's would be good though, because it'd be kind of like a um, sink was blocked, plumber came round. <laughs> Negligee fell open. <laughs> soft guitar music. I fainted. Two ambulance men came round. <laughs> Jason, what, do you think, what are you going to go for? Which housemate's diary would you most like to read? You know a good autobiography when it's got a good title, like Columbo, Peter Fawkes, is called Just One More Thing, which is genius, right? Yeah. So Nikki should just be called Who Is She? <laughs> and it'd be, more, it'd be more of a colouring book yeah. than an actual autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> right? Who you gonna, you're going to go for Nikki, then, are you? Yeah, because uh, Leah's I've read in Deirdre's photo case book, so... <laughs> <laughs> OK, so who are you going to go for? Whose diary, do you think? Um, uh, what do you want to go for? I don't know. Oh, well, 